I, yeah, I don't have that much patience. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to just be like, okay, one more. <laughs> Here's right. one for you. <laughs> exactly. And uh, a little bit more of that uh, stuff coming, you know, a little bit of light snow on the way. It's not going to be, I don't think, much. We're looking at a coating, maybe a half inch in some areas north of M59. But it is dry this morning. So travel, just watch for some black ice just because recent uh, wet weather and then also these real cold temperatures this morning. Light snow falling mainly after 5 o'clock to the west and then spreading east. It looks like a lot of this will start to fizzle out, but we'll start to warm up too. So temperatures today, at least near the freezing mark, unlike 21 degrees. That was our high yesterday, so we're certainly above that as we go through the afternoon, but it is going to feel quite colder because of the wind. Six degrees right now. That is the temperature in Ann Arbor. 11 downtown, 9 in Pontiac. It is 8 degrees in Howell at this point, and we do have that south to southwest wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour, increasing 15 to 25 throughout the day, and already we're seeing wind chills of 5 below in Howell. Feels like 3 below up in Flint, 1 below downtown and 2 degrees is how right now it feels in Mount Clemens. So you can see we're going to go into the single digits, teens, and eventually work our way by the evening into the low 20s and it looks like that's pretty steady through the overnight hours. We're going to also see a steady increase in cloud cover. It is going to be a nice bright morning and I think with a lot of hours during the morning we get to the noon hour or so we'll start to notice more and more cloud cover into the afternoon. Here's 5 o'clock. Some of that snow already moving into Lansing, the Howell area. Now forecast models are just trying to grasp how dry the air is. So when this starts to move in, it looks like a lot of this will start to fall apart too. So that's why they, even though this is, this is a pretty good front coming through, it looks like the dry air overtakes it and could see anywhere from a quarter to a half inch, anywhere from how northward. And then you'll be lucky if you get a coating south of I-94 at all as it sort of falls apart. And then tomorrow, it looks like another dry day. We start to look ahead to Monday. So Monday afternoon or evening, here comes the next system. Warmer temperatures mean rain versus snow. Doesn't mean we're not going to see some mixing maybe on the tail end of it, but it looks like majority of that system Monday into Tuesday morning could certainly be more rain than anything else. Back to today, you can see what I mean by as far as accumulation anywhere from a coating or last from the city southward and up to a quarter to a half inch to the north. A lot of that will start to melt though as it hits the ground. So 32, the high today, not bad. It's going to feel colder, I know. 28 degrees, your low tonight, pretty steady temperatures. 38 degrees tomorrow, 36 on Monday. Starting as rain, maybe the tail end of a mix, 40 on Tuesday, and that really drops us down. That system moving through will push us back down into